organization here? Yeah, I'm sure that it thrills me, but this was your passion. This was the heartbeat, that the vision that God gave you. And, and, and I'm sure there was many times you had to block out the voices of other people. Norma is sure. Norma, I've heard from God. As, as Reverend Davis said, when you hear from God, right. you, just, you need to go with it. Well, now, this, if you just tuned in, this is Monday night, and that means prayer for anything you need, not just healing, but we, we always have a lot of those needs. Oh, yeah. So why don't you call? Don't sit there and feel sorry for yourself. Get up and go to the phone. Dial 888-665-4483, or you can send us an email. And the email is, I've got this memorized too, <laughs> www.ctvn.org. Let me give it to you again, www.ctvn.org. I memorize these. <laughs> Good for you. Good and, and, for you. And again, the emails, they're coming from Finland. They're coming from all over the world. So we do care, and we want to be in agreement. But you know what would be great right now? If we could have a few testimonies of God's healing. So those of you who are watching, if God has touched you and healed you, please call in so, so we can rejoice and be an encouragement to others who and are healing. And give God the glory. Always give God the glory. <laughs> to God be the glory. The, the, the writer of that song should sure write a good song. <laughs> right. We serve a God that says, I am able to do exceedingly, abundantly above that which you can ever think, even ask. Right. Whatever you're thinking, he's to the, I remember math class, he's to the tenth power. <laughs> right. You remember that? And incidentally, there's somebody uh, watching right now, and you have a problem with the right heel on your right foot. I don't know if you fell down the stairs or what happened, but your right heal in Jesus name we thank you Lord for that word and we believe for healing for you if you're the one and you received it let us know amen I she's never wrong she hears from God and right now we're going over to Ron and Robin God bless you <laughs> Ron and Robin and Brian and with us is Tim and Tim uh, you you had our dear brother I mean it was fabulous yeah had a great time a lot of a lot of people were healed and and really ministered to and and uh one of the things that I, I, I have a hunger for the move of God. I have a hunger Amen. for uh, the, the prophetic and healing and things like that. And, but I went to check them out. One thing you, I went to check them out first. I don't I don't just have anybody in my church. You got to check them out. And uh, God, yeah, I, I said, God, how do I know that this guy's real? You know, there's a lot of people out there. There's a lot of voices. And He said, Well, what you do is you just write down the things you want to hear from me, and then when He says them. You can pull the paper out and show everybody. And, and I made, I wrote down six items that I needed to hear from God. And he went down through them, one, two, three, four, five, Amen. six. And I pulled the paper out and showed it to him. And he's like, I can't believe it myself. <laughs> 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 yeah. it. So, but it was good. <laughs> but there's another reason, why, Tim, that I, I wanted you to come on real quickly. You don't even have any of that. No, I don't right now. Come on. This is, this is but, naked Tim face here. But you're, uh, you were moved by that request for the little girl, and you need to tell your story real quickly. Yeah. I just, I, I just want to encourage uh, Evelyn, who called in, or, or whatever the little girl's name is, Cameron. I just want to encourage the family that when I was three and a half years old, I was hit by a car. Severe brain damage. My skull was crushed. Uh, the doctors assumed that I was going to die, so much so that they didn't bother to put a metal plate in or anything. They just shoved everything back in and sewed up the skin. There was bits of bone. There was bits of asphalt. There was all kinds of things in there, and they just assumed I was going to die. My parents were praying people, oh, and they just began to pray, and God did a miracle. And so I just, I just want to tell you, I'm standing here. I'm sitting here as a miracle. 96 countries around the world seeing all kinds of things. I've got uh, an ex a higher IQ than, than normal. All those things. And I, I don't say the brand. I'm saying that because Amen. God has got... Right. Now, on, on top of that, on top of that, about 10 years ago, I had uh, a CAT scan done because I was having severe migraines. And I believe the Lord allowed me to have the migraines so that I could get it done. And the brain, my brain, which was damaged is completely whole. There's no scarring. The only thing I have is a scar on the side of my head that gives people, that when people see the scar, they say, what happened to you? And it gives me an opportunity. Well, it also gives our makeup people opportunities. Right, right. Cover that cover it in. They, they, they cover it in. I watch that all the time. Well, I, used to, I used to joke and say when I have half a mind to do something, I really do. But I can't say that anymore. Oh, since, since the scan was done and it's you know, right. my brain is complete. But God does a work. And I, I just want to encourage the parents people, nothing is impossible Amen. with God. Just what Brian Amen. said, nothing is impossible with God, and God can do the same thing. He's no respect to the person. Amen. What he's done for me, he can do for Cameron. Amen. You have a word for someone. I do. I do. Look right in the camera and give him the word. 
uh, there was, uh, I was sitting and I saw a woman bleeding um, almost internally and I don't know exactly which state you're in but I believe you're watching and I want you to know that by midnight it's going to stop you're going to see and feel a difference God is going to heal you and even as I'm speaking I'm seeing so many more there's a person uh, and I think someone called from out of the country a few minutes ago with a prayer request and whoever that person uh, uh, that um, the president was speaking about the young man from Pakistan or wherever she said um, I, I saw angels run, glory to God running to him uh, to, um, to answer the question and, and to solve this case um, I, I'm hearing a Julie Julie you're watching there's a Fred Fred you're watching God is visiting your homes and you can call in the station God is going to do a miracle because though this may not be your situation you have something that you need God to do there is also a pastor there's a pastor God is encouraging you now because the signs and the wonders have not been operating in your church and it's almost like you're, you're experiencing a drought but for you today God refreshes you today and, and I promise you Sunday morning if you spend your time with the Lord God is going to uh, allow you to see Hallelujah. that he has, that what has seemed to be dried up is going to live again and I decree it and I declare it until there's so much so much more God is speaking it will take hours for me to tell you but I will say this the, the opposite, and I just said it to them a few minutes ago, the opposite of faith is not fear, um, but it's fact. And many people allow fact to keep God from moving into your life. Yes, it may be true. Yes, it may look the way it is, but the power of God is able to change anything. There's still a living God, and he's ready Amen. to move on your behalf. Amen. Amen. report. Are you going to believe? The report of the Lord. The report of the Lord. Amen. 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 Be healed. Be delivered. Be set free. Amen. You must keep calling, beloved. 888-665-4483. And uh, we're coming close to the end of the program. And we want our dear brother to put his hands on these prayer requests that have been coming in. If you cannot get through, keep trying. Go to the speed dial. If you're in the queue, wait there, beloved. It's very important. Remember, the woman with the issue of blood pressed into the crowd, and she wouldn't give up until she touched the hem of his garment. I want to encourage people that God can move electronically. Amen. We had uh, Saturday night, the church service went long. It was about midnight. We were still in church, and I got a text from Scott Kirschbaumer. Scott plays uh, Phil Andrews, the, the owner of, of Shenanigans, the bar next door to his place. And uh, on the His Place program, and uh, he texted me and said, "My son, could you please pray? My son is his oxygen level. He's, uh, we had to bring him to the hospital. His oxygen level dropped to 45 percent, and the doctors don't know what to do. They're doing everything they can do. 15. And and huh? there were 15 doctors around him. Yeah, there were 15 doctors around him that didn't know yeah. what to do or what to say. And so we stopped the church service and I said, Brian, we need to pray. We got everybody praying. Brian led us in prayer. We got everybody praying." And uh, he texted me back. He was, we're texting back and forth during the church service. I was paying attention to my brother, but we're texting back and forth. When somebody sends me an emergency text, I'm going to pay attention. But uh, I, he texted back to me uh, after about 10 minutes and said, the doctors don't understand. His oxygen level has gone up to 94%. Hallelujah. And, and uh, then it went up to 98%. And God did that. And I'm just telling, I'm saying that as an encouragement. Before we begin to pray, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, it doesn't matter. The electronic media, God works, okay, and he can work in your life. It's just like I, I want to tell people how long we have uh, because I want everyone to get in that can. We have about six minutes. We have about six minutes, and then we're going to pray. Beloved, please call. Now, if you can't call because the lines are jammed, and they are, then go to the computer or go to your iPhone or whatever. And how do they do that, Tim? You're the techie person. Well, they, 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 they can't really, and unless we, we put up some kind of uh, text availability here. We don't, we don't have any phones that they could, they could text to. But I just encourage you, send something, send an email. Just send an email Amen. to, and to uh, 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 the power. Yeah. Time just to send an email. We'll get it. We'll pray. We'll get fo to focus4 at ctvn.org.